Hello friends, this is Durga again. As part of uh, Oracle Performance Tuning, uh, uh, in this video, I will be covering how to interpret the explain plan. Uh, you, if you see my earlier videos, uh, you will understand how to generate explain plan either by using set auto trace or um, by using uh, plan table uh, uh, method. And uh, here, I will try to explain you how to interpret the explain plan in detail. So for that, let me write a little bit of uh, uh, complex query, okay. So for that, I will be joining three tables, employees, jobs and department. And I will try to see how many employees are there uh, in each department uh, uh, with, each, uh, with a given job title uh, for a salary greater than $5,000. So if you, if you look at employees table here, if you go to the data, there are 107 records okay it has the employee id employee name uh, email and phone number hire date job id and also department id so we need to join to department's table to get the department name and the job uh, job id jobs table to get the job title and also we want to see for a given department, for a given job title, how many employees are there whose salary is greater than 5,000. So it covers filtering, it covers uh, group by, it covers joins. So it's a little bit complex query, uh, which I will be you know, first writing and then we will generate the explain plan and we will interpret the explain plan. So select D dot department name, J dot job title comma count of one from employee C join departments D on E dot department ID. So this is how the query looks like. So let me first copy this query. Okay, and hit enter. So there is, uh, okay. Actually, uh, the query is wrong. So join here, jobs on. Okay, now it will run. And I didn't give the alias. So now it should run and hit enter. Ah, man, e dot job id, j dot job id. Now it should run. So you can see that. Um, let me do the order by also. So order by d dot department name j dot job title so that all the departments are grouped together and hit enter you can see that there are there is one employee uh, in accounting department with accounting manager job title whose salary is greater than 5000 uh, similarly uh, one from public accountant and uh, and then there are five employees in finance department with the job title accountant whose salary is more than five thousand dollars so this is how the results look like and sales is the most uh, uh, highly paid organization compared to anything else and not department compared to anything else so now we will see the explain plan for this query what we have to do is we can actually do set auto trace trace only and then run this query again and hit enter it gives you the uh, it gives the um, explain plan as well as the statistics to run this query let me zoom out a little bit and also let me run a command called set lines 200 so that the 
uh, output is well formatted okay so this is the uh, explain plan now i will uh, i will uh, uh, explain you how to interpret this explain plan so now i will be whiteboarding so now i will be whiteboarding here so uh, the uh, query starts executing here uh, so this will be the first step or called as root okay so from root you uh, there is a first level of branch for sort group by and then there is another branch for nested loops and then you can see that these two nested loop and the table access are um, at, at one level so here from here it branched out to two so uh, this is uh, let's say uh, a and this is b so there is a branch and there is b branch and from here again it has uh, a has two more branches uh, one for uh, table access full and uh, other for table access uh, by index id so this nested loop actually have two more branches so this is one branch under this nested loop and uh, another branch is this one so again we will there are two branches here let's say this is a1 and a2 and this is nested loop and this is index unix scan and again this a1 uh, so this is a and this is a1 and this is a2 and again this a1 is branched into two let's say it is a11 a12 okay and uh, again this has this un index unix scan here similarly um, b does not have any branch here only this a have a1 a2 which is nested loops and index unix scan and then this a1 have two branches uh, a1 and a2 uh, a1 is table access full and a2 is table access uh, by index row id and then a11 does not have any uh, 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 anything under under it but a12 has this index unix scan okay so this index unix scan is related to a12 so all these uh, uh, ones which does not have sub uh, uh, sub things are called as leaves and uh, all others like uh, this one let's say this is uh, uh, yes s1 and s11 which is branched into a and b so this uh, these are all this is root all the intermediary ones are uh, called as branches and branches can be at different level and all the hanging ones are uh, the leaves so this is how uh, you should first visualize this explain plan in a tree structure and uh, then what you have to do is the way you have to interpret is until you go to the leaf so in this case um, and you have to go uh, go towards the left first so in this case you start with s s1 s11 and go to the left through the branches in this case a a1 a11 so this is the first thing which you need to read so what is a11 this is a11 table access full is a11 okay so the first thing what it will read employees table and once it gets the employees table then you have to go to the branch and read the second uh, uh, its peer so before reading a12 you should understand what's happening uh, at its branch level so for table access full the branch is nested loops and you need to understand what the nested loops is i will be covering later uh, 
uh, all the uh, different ways and that will be data sets uh, uh, are the all the different ways that will be used to join the data sets in this case it is trying to join employees and departments table so first it gets the data for employees and for each employee id what nested loop means it will uh, go to the uh, next uh, uh, its peer which is departments using uh, the department id of for each employee so we have 107 employees um, yeah, in our data set and it will go through each and every employee get the department and uh, uh, then it will go to the then it will go to the departments table but again these departments have another leaf so once you go to the national loop and come back to this table access by index row id you need to understand that it's not the leaf node uh, so yeah, there is a leaf which is called as index unix scan so for each employee it will go to the departments uh, department id underscore pk index and uh, 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 but the department id underscore pk does not have department name in that uh, and uh, uh, to get the department name it has to go to the departments table and once it gets the uh, department table the nested loop uh, uh, the, the join will be done and for each record again it has to go through the nested loop and for this nested loop which is that uh, uh, it's the parent branch of this nested loop it has to go to the index unix scan to go to the job id and uh, uh, once the join is done, it uh, it has to go to the next level branch, which is nested loop, and its peer is table access by row ID. It has to go to the jobs table to get the job title, and then uh, it has to apply the sort and group by because we have the group by condition in our table uh, to uh, uh, to get the results. So this is how you should read the explain plan, and you should interpret the data. Uh, in the explain plan i will be covering all these things again in detail for now just understand how to read the uh, explain plan more than anything else you have to start with the root which is s in this case go through the uh, left side branches until it goes to the leaf node which is a11 which is table access full of employees once it uh, once it starts reading the data depending upon how the data uh, how it is performing join with the other table if the query involves join it will uh, 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 use the algorithm of nested loops and there are this sort match join hash hash join etc in this case it is using nested loops so uh, uh, using uh, uh, so from here it will go to this one and uh, uh, go to the peer of table access full which is table access by index row id and then it will loop through it until the join is done once it is done once the employees and departments table is joined then it will go to the next level uh, uh, branch which is this one and again this is combination of two branches one is already performed and the next one is to do the index unix scan to join the data set on the jobs table and once that nested loop is done it has to go to this list node which is to get the job title from the jobs table and then it will go through the branches uh, bottom up so this is how you should read the explain plan and you should interpret the explain plan but you need to understand each and every step what is a nested loop what is table accessful what is table access by index row id what is index unix scan uh, and there are many other such uh, uh, operations uh, that will be used when running the query and you have to interpret all these things to make sure what this what, what these explain plans actually mean so it's not a uh, i cannot cover everything as part of one video we will be talking about um, uh, we will be running different types of queries and as and when we come across a new uh, thing we will try to uh, understand what that new stuff literally mean for example in this case i will explain what is table access full what is table access by index row id what is index unix scan and what is the nested loop what is sort group by for this query in future when we write different query 
using different uh, set of tables or same set of tables with different uh, 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 filter conditions etc if the query changes and if the operations change i will try to explain as many as possible through this course for now just understand how to read the explain plan that is more than enough so once you understand the explain plan it, um, when you do set auto trace it also run the statistics okay and as part of the statistics uh, there are certain things called uh, like this recursive calls db block gets consistent gets physical reads redo size and these are the may uh, actually even redo size is not that important uh, especially if, uh, uh, for the performance tuning content which is uh, uh, targeted for almost everyone uh, who want to use oracle database so these four are the most important uh, statistics and uh, then sorts are also important um, and these things are not that important they are important but not that important and this is also um, not very important but these are the things which will actually uh, uh, which will actually uh, uh, means these are the statistics that are uh, uh, that are retrieved from io which is the most time taking activity when you run the query so you need to understand these things in detail uh to uh, to make sure how, uh, what is the overhead uh, when we run the query so i will be covering those things also uh, as we proceed forward and also uh, uh, so far we have seen how to generate explain plan using the sql developer and sql plus but in real world scenario um, when we actually start using uh, our application in production especially for dbs there is a very handy tool called uh, oracle enterprise manager and we need to first understand what it is in detail uh, especially from the context of uh, performance tuning uh, as we are talking about performance tuning uh, as part of this playlist and that will be taken care as part of the next video that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical questions please use the comment section of the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this thank you bye